Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sailor Moon Another Story playthrough. We are about to fight the infamous boss. There are several things that you need to do before you fight this boss. The first is to put Sa is to put Sailor Mercury at the absolute front of any formation with an absolute front. <laughs> so uh, basically, I would go with Arrow, but Cluster works as well. You just have to be at the front. <laughs> um, you wouldn't think this would matter with just one party member. And in fact, like in another game, like if you were playing, like, say, Final Fantasy V or something, it probably wouldn't matter if you only had one party member. But it does here, by golly. So there you go. Put her up front. The next thing you know, next thing you need to do is take full advantage of the fact that Switzerland village shops apparently like accept yen as a currency and just buy up a whole bunch of items. The first thing you need is a manicure. If you happen to have a face cream from Tokyo, that's helpful too. But the first thing you need is a manicure. What? <laughs> Uh, asterisk in the in the actual game like in the natural game uh, you can't buy manicure here um the schwartz medicine that cures numb would um would would be here instead but you want that manicure buy two if you can afford it because there's two phases to this boss fight the next thing is to buy as much ice shards as you can because those because those restore your action points and you're gonna want to restore your action points otherwise you're just gonna be playing happy slaps with Nabu for like two hours it's, it's not gonna be fun you'll probably survive long enough to kill Nabu but like life's too short man <laughs> splash water on you you see how much more damage that did now that I'm in the front row? God damn. <laughs> anyway. So, like... You go into the cave thinking that you just need to find your way back to that hole, right? But, like... No. At this point, I've actually done this like three times, so I'm just doing this to be th theatrical. And also to like earn a bit more experience points, just in case. Because this boss is not hard exactly, but durable. Mm -hmm. You fell down a mountain, yeah. <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> just jump down there, you'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, there must be another way. So around we go. Oop -de -loop. It's funny though because she says, "Well, there's that other cave that's to the to the east." But like, how does she know that there's another cave to the east? I haven't talked to any <laughs> anyone who mentioned that. I've never been that way myself during this playthrough. Oh, convenient. <laughs> carved into carved into this convenient staircases too. <laughs> you might think big room. Hey, I should explore. Don't bother. There's nothing here to find. <laughs> Just go straight down the zigzaggy hallway, hallway, and uh, you'll get to where you need to go. And you'll know you're where you need to go because there's a Luna P doll, like right, right over there. How long has it been here? <laughs> <laughs> it's been waiting for her. Anyway, I'm just going to switch on a bracelet and get a few more attack power points because, yeah, thank you. Alright. Save. Save the game because, you know, boss fight. It would be very tragic if we did not save. So, as I said... Something's glittering. Yeah, literally every wall here. <laughs> <laughs> True. You're not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I said, the Oppositio soldiers are like... 
evil counterparts to their in, to their individual um, sailor scouts. Of course, in true Final Fantasy form, the humanoid monster sprite is like three times the size of the party Thank member, you. so it's like Sailor Mercury, not so much fighting evil Sailor Mercury as giant evil Sailor Mercury on Mario Mushrooms. Anyway, what you want to do for both of these fights is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that one is going to end significantly faster than the other phase. Hit, hit the enemy with bubble spray, hit yourself with a manicure to boost your damage, and then spam Shine Aqua Illusion until you run out of action points. And then when you run out of action points, just restore them with ice shards. This was a waste of a move. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting that bubble spray doesn't Bubbles. do damage. <laughs> because the game is really bad at conveying what it means with... um. Like, for a while, I wasn't even sure if, like, Manicure stacked or not. It doesn't. You get exactly one buff. So, don't use more than one Manicure per battle. Thankfully, it's a permanent buff, so... Oh, yeah. Nice. But do they do the SMT thing where they just decide, you know, I'm gonna get rid of my buffs now? <laughs> what? Do they do the SMT thing where they decide to get rid of their stat buffs and debuffs now? <laughs> I don't think so. Good. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> anyway, so, like... Think about it. I'm the opposite of you. You want to be a homemaker doctor person. So that means I want to be um, whatever the opposite of that is. <laughs> so, like, these guys being twisted reflections or whatever... Nabu's thing is that she's so absorbed in the idea that things need to be scientific and logical that she just doesn't want to trust the silver crystal, even though she's literally living in a utopian future under that silver crystal. I'm imagining, I'm imagining them living on Bizarro World now. <laughs> <laughs> it sound it sounds a bit ridiculous, but the second arc of the series was literally about a bunch of time traveling yahoos who 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 rebelled against um, the utopian society underneath Qu Queen Serenity and the Silver Crystal. So, you know, there are people who don't like this stuff. I guess uh, living in a perfect world where everyone is immortal is. I don't know, troublesome to some people? I, I don't get it. I mean, I imagine it'd get boring after a while. I mean, boring is boring. <laughs> That's not a reason to, 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 you know, piss in everyone else's cornflakes. I mean, it spices things saying? up. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the Black Moon people seemed to have, mm -hmm. like, an idea of why they were like that. <laughs> Like a philosophical objection. Like, Nabu here just doesn't trust it because it can't be analyzed scientifically. Basically, she thinks it might just go away someday because it's magical and there's no way to know. I mean, that is something to be concerned about. Yeah. On the other hand, there's no sign of it going away. And it's been around for a pretty long time at this point. So, eh. I mean, if you're immortal, it's going to go away eventually. Historically speaking, the only reason it went away in the first place is because someone rebelled, so... Uh, what caused what, then? Hmm. Well, the answer to that is Metallia, but, you know. <laughs> Sploosh! Like, in Sailor Moon lore, it, the, the Silver Crystal is pretty in, 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 in unambiguously a source of infinite power. So, like, yeah. Use the Holy Grail. <laughs> I can't. I'm not Sailor Moon or Mini Moon. Well, check it out. And when they touch it, they'll turn into a skeleton. 
Anyway, Nabu's second phase has two, ha well, three attacks technically. Occasionally, she'll just attack normally. But most of the time, she'll attack with a Tempest. Which, since there's only one member in this party, doesn't really matter in, this co in the context of this battle. But something to keep in mind for any future encounters with her. Um, she also has Toxic Mist. Which has... Well, roughly the accuracy rate of closing your eyes and firing a bow and arrow in roughly the opposite direction of your target. So, <laughs> so uh, it probably won't poison you, but you should keep some all cures on just in case, because if the poison does stick and this battle lasts long enough that it probably will once or twice. Um, if the poison does stick and is allowed to damage you, it'll do probably about 24 points of damage. So it's basically the only thing in this battle that's actually a threat to you. So you should get rid of it as soon as you can. Um, apart from that, this is really just a battle of attrition. But because you have to do so much specific preparation for this battle in order to make it feasible for you to win, um, it's like just a massive, extreme pain in the ass. Yeah. It's also a very funny pain in the ass, considering how Sailor Mars' uh, section ends, but we'll get to that in a part or two. Um, if you do wind up playing Happy Slaps with Nabu, though, get, be prepared for a a long haul because you see those ones and twos and threes that Nabu is doing to me right now that's what you're going to be doing to Nabu <laughs> if you just if you get reduced to using normal attacks in this fight um like imagine uh, the battle between solid snake and liquid oh ocelot gosh. at the end <laughs> of metal gear solid 4 and then just put that on loop for 2 hours on youtube just them throwing Extremely tired punches at each other. <laughs> Mix it in with the finale of Persona 5 Royal for a further two hours. It's... <sighs> One damage. Go on, Nobu, you're gonna need to do that 118 more times. <laughs> Bubble Spray really does make a, make a big difference to this battle, though, because if you let Nabu attack you, at her normal strength, she's going to be doing fairly significant damage per hit. But Bubble Spray pretty much, well, completely destroys her offensive capabilities. I think the attack stat and the accuracy stat in this game are, um, like, rolled into one, though, because it seems like when you hit them with Bubble Spray and it lowers their attack, it not only lowers the damage they're dealing, but also their chance to hit entirely. Not entirely sure how that would work, but... Well, um... The amount of damage you're dealing would be an abstraction for how directly you hit the target. So, basically, what it means is you're doing less damage because your aim sucks. Go down already, Nabu. We're bored. Yup. Kitty, your th Kitty, your thoughts on the boss fight? This is gonna last a bit. <laughs> She's just jamming out to the music, okay? I am jamming, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty much the only thing that you have to do during this boss fight. <laughs> you don't even have to navigate to the menu half the time, because it's on memory, so... You can just spam the attack until you're out of action points. Well, since we're on the topic and you cosplayers, is, uh, is uh, Mercury your favorite Sailor Scout Kitty? Yeah, Mercury and Mars are my favorite. Any particular reason, or? I don't know, I just feel like I can relate to Mercury a lot, because, you know, she's just... She's just really sweet and like intelligent, and even though I can't be <laughs> the most intelligent being, I I look up to her in a way because she's just so sweet. Hmm. That's a good way to go. I feel like because the '90s anime is so stuck in everyone's consciousness, mm -hmm. Mercury gets a bad rap. Yeah. Like, like she has 
basically no input on combat and she sort of typecast as yeah. that kind of she's not the badass <laughs> who sits in the background but like then you go into the manga and crystal and she's jumping out of she's infiltrating an office building jumping out of a window into a pool and just you know soloing her way through an action sequence and it's just like oh okay it was like legitimately one of the coolest scenes in that entire series Oh god, this battle is still going. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I got poison, so I have to take a turn off to, to heal the poison, and that's going to prolong things even more. Oof. And now I need to heal. Use the alarm click! <laughs> alarm clicks all over the place. <laughs> have you seen my Swiss car alarm clock watching <laughs> It's funny, they give you so many alarm clocks in this section, and it's like one and it's like an item that you'll never have any use for until <laughs> after the solo section is done. Because like you can't use an alarm clock to wake up a sleeping party member when you only have one party member. If that party member is asleep, they can't use the alarm clock on themselves. So it's just kind of filler spoils. Happy slaps. <laughs> Not yet, no. I've got plenty of ice shards remaining. I'm actually a little surprised that I ran through my entire stock, considering how many of those goddamn things I bought. Miss. It's almost like you're attacking me with air. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, I think this is the turn where... Uh, this is the round. Well, we only got two hours. Well, we, only, we only got two minutes, 45 seconds left, so... Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say is, damn, Ami can hone Kaioken way longer than Koku can. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I think this is the only boss that's going to give us this kind of trouble for the entire game. Hey. Yes, it's done! Yay! Hallelujah. I wasted an ice shard. She gave us fifty dollars. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So the infamous roadblock is now behind us. How could you withstand my attack? You were doing three damage per turn. I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was the manicure. You're exhausted. <laughs> Do you know how many times I emptied out my S my, my MP pool? I kept having to chug ethers just to get through that in a reasonable amount of time. Ugh. Nurgle. Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgle. <laughs> I feel sorry for your friend. That is not a nice name to be given. I'm so scared of Nurgle. You must go now. Your planet needs you. How do you know we're trying to restore Tuxedo Mask? Well, they're the ones who injured him, so... Well, they're the ones who injured him, but how do they know that's what we're doing? Hmm. I mean, we only know that's what we're doing because a bunch of ghosts told us that. <laughs> Yay! All right, it's time to go back to Japan. Teleportation, but... yeah. Before we do that, let's just stop outside of Hans's house and talk to ourselves for a few seconds. Oh, Hans! <laughs> Yeah, second thoughts about living in this icy cold village in Switzerland Give with nothing to do. Give up your entire life for Hans. We both know you're not Mercury. He's a filler character. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Someday. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks Someday later, she just completely forgets. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, how did you true. get here? <laughs> right about it okay. in the diary. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so awkward when she <laughs> randomly pops up to ask you to save your game. Anyway, next part, we're going to begin the Sailor Mars section of Chapter 2, which thankfully is a lot easier than this one was. Yeah.